Hello lovelies! If you're new to the channel or it's just been a while since you last popped by, you might be surprised to learn that I am currently almost nine months pregnant. In fact, by the time you're watching this video, there's a very good likelihood that this little one will have made its arrival already. If you want to see some cute pics, go ahead and check out my Instagram. I'm sure I'll be sharing some updates over there. But as you can imagine, at nine months pregnant, I am keeping things in the kitchen these days as simple as humanly possible. And that's why today I'm really excited to share with you this absolutely delectable but quick and easy pineapple chicken. Yes, it tastes just as good as it sounds. It's sweet, it's tart, it's savory. There's so much to love. And like I said, it's really, really simple to prepare. Now to get started, I am gonna be mixing up a nice sauce for this chicken. So it's nice to mix this up beforehand so that it's ready once all of your ingredients are cooked. In my bowl, I have got some pineapple juice. So I love pineapple juice because it's sweet and tart and tangy. And I wanna add a bit of savory flavor to it. So I'm going to be doing that with a splash of chicken broth as well as some soy sauce. You could also use tamari, which is gluten-free soy sauce in this recipe, totally up to you. I also wanna add a little bit of sweetness to this, so I've got a little bit of brown sugar headed in here as well. And finally to this, I'm also going to be adding a couple good tablespoons of cornstarch. Now cornstarch is really the secret to getting this sauce nice and syrupy and nice and thick so that it really coats all of our ingredients once they've been cooked. Now all I'm going to do is give this a quick whisk and that's it. Tons of great balanced flavor here. It's savory, it's sweet, it's nice and tart and tangy. So I will just set this aside and get to work on cooking up my chicken. Now for this recipe, I opted for some boneless skinless chicken breast because I found some on sale at the supermarket. You can also make this recipe with everything from pork to shrimp. You can even make it with tofu. So it's really versatile in terms of the kinds of proteins you can use. Like I said, I've got about a pound of chicken breast here that I've cut into one inch cubes and a little bit of oil heating up in my skillet. And I wanna season it up with some salt and some pepper and then let it cook until it's nice and browned on all sides. So after about, say, six to eight minutes, your chicken will be fully cooked and have developed some golden color. That's really what you want. There's so much flavor in all of that color once it's developed. And the next step is going to be adding our pineapple and some veggies to this. So I have got a nice heaping helping of chopped pineapple. I cut it into basically the same size chunks as my chicken because I want everything to be pretty uniform. I've also got some red bell pepper I'm going to get in here just for some nice color, extra flavor, extra nutrition. And finally, I have got some red onion as well, and I've kept everything pretty chunky. And basically, all I wanna do is give these another two to three minutes to soften up. I wanna let that pineapple heat through and get really, really flavorful. That sweet and tangy flavor really starts to stand out. As soon as that's nice and heated through, I wanna add even more yumminess to this. So I've got some minced garlic headed into my skillet as well as some freshly grated ginger. You guys cannot believe how beautiful the combination of fresh ginger and pineapple can be. They really are a match made in heaven. So you don't wanna hold back with your ginger here. You can really, really go for it. And I'm just going to give those another 30 seconds to a minute just to heat up and reach their maximum flavor potential. Oh, the smell in here is incredible. It actually smells a little bit like vacation, which I'll just be honest with you guys. I could go for a little vacation. I'm sure we all could. It's been a long year, right? And just as soon as that garlic and that ginger is nice and fragrant, we're gonna go ahead and add our sauce to this. So I've got this nice big bowl of beautiful sauce. I'm going to pour it right in. And what you'll notice is at first it feels very liquidy, but as that sauce heats up, it's going to thicken up and become really syrupy and really start to coat all of our amazing veggies. So that's what we're going for. There is so much to love about this recipe. It's so colorful and fresh tasting. It's got great texture and flavor. I personally love to serve it with a little sprinkle of sesame seeds and some freshly chopped green onion for some nice color over some coconut rice. If you've never made coconut rice, I have a great recipe for it. I will link in the description box below. And honestly guys, this is an absolute winner and will become a family favorite in your house, I guarantee it. 
I hope you'll give it a try for yourselves. And if you do, be sure to tweet me, Instagram me, or Facebook me a photo, because you know how much I love seeing your kitchen creations. This recipe, like all of my recipes, can be found on HealthyMealPlans.com, our amazing meal planning site that allows you to browse more than a thousand recipes, drag and drop them into your weekly meal plan, and then automatically generates your grocery list for the week. If you haven't checked it out yet, I really hope you will. It is also guaranteed to make your life in the kitchen easier. Thank you guys so much for watching. And finally, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe because there is lots more deliciousness where this came from.